Hey guys, my name's Eric and this is Cooking with Curly. And have I got a delicious vegetable pasta dish for you. It's going to start out with our tomato sauce, we're going to have our pasta, we're going to throw in some other veggies, stick it in the uh, casserole dish, put some cheese and some breadcrumbs on top, and then bake it in the oven, and we're going to enjoy that baby. Oh, let's get started with the ingredients. Okay, and for our ingredients, we've got some olive oil for our veggies. We've got some seasoning. This is two parts salt to one part garlic powder and one part pepper. We've got some salt for our pasta, two yellow squash, basil, and we've got this rotini right here. It's a whole grain pasta with the little twirls and the tomato sauce gets stuck inside of these and it makes it ten times better the next day. Okay, we've got a pound of asparagus, four medium-sized tomatoes, We've got some broccoli, some mozzarella cheese, and some Italian breadcrumbs. Okay, this is a trick I learned to get the skins off of our tomatoes. You just take a knife and you make a little X in the bottom of it. Okay, and do that for all of these. Okay, done that. Now we're going to add a little bit of salt to our water. Alright, and we're going to stick these in here for about two minutes maybe. A minute and a half, two minutes. Let the skins fall off of those. And okay, it's been about a minute and as you can see our tomato skin is falling off. We're going to take these and take them over on our cutting board, peel the skins off and get to cutting. We could just leave that water going because we're going to use, our, use that for our pasta. Come right here. Watch out, these are pretty hot. Hot! Hot! Okay. Get all this skin off. Woo! Probably should have waited. For you, I'm going to tell you to wait. Ha! Huh. Okay, there's two of them. See how the skin just comes right off of them? Ah. Ouch! That's hot. Okay. Okay. Got last little bit of skin off. Alright, now what we're going to do, we're just going to cut these into small pieces. Just rustic, about six per half. Cut it in half and cut it in threes. And I'll come back when I've got this completed. Just cutting these all up. I'm going to transfer all these over to a plate. This is the messy part. Alright, and then we'll get started on the squash. Okay, got all that. I'm gonna go do a rinse. Okay. Okay, we just transferred all the cut tomatoes over and we're gonna start with our squash. Squash, all you do is you take off each end. Cut off each end. Cut it right down the middle. Cut it down the middle again. Well, I'll try and cut down the middle. I can't really do it. Then just cut small pieces. And when this is all done, I'll come right back with you. Okay, we've got our squash done. Now we're going to do our asparagus. We're just going to take about inch and a half, two inches off the ends. You can take the time to bend it and see where it snaps off, or you can just take it off. And then I'm just going to cut this into thirds and lay this off to the side and we'll get started with our broccoli. Luckily, I bought the broccoli. It was already completely trimmed, so didn't really have to worry about that. Yes, that is my fiance's roommate that keeps on coming in the door. All right, our broccoli is already previously trimmed. We're going to get started with our, pasta, our veggies now. All right, I'm going to... Get started by heating up the skillet 
you make sure you get a high sided skillet and a big skillet because this is a lot a lot of vegetables all right we're gonna heat up some olive oil in here a couple turns it's about a tablespoon and a half maybe two tablespoons all right and then we're gonna throw our tomatoes in here and let those start breaking down and I'll show you what they're gonna look like here in a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt or some of that seasoning that I talked about in the ingredients. I'm gonna add some of that to it also. And these will break down and see our tomatoes are starting to break down. While they're working on that, I'm gonna go ahead and add our pasta to our pasta water. Remember, we already salted our pasta water, so we don't have to add any more salt to it. Add the whole box, give it a little stir. And let it do its let it do its thing. All right, give these a stir, and in about a minute or two, these are going to be completed, and we'll be able to add our veggies to it. Okay, since it's broken down, we're going to go ahead and add all of our veggies. Oops, drop one. And as I said, make sure you get a big one because, as you can see, this is a ton of vegetables. And these will break down a little bit and it won't be so big. Just give it a toss and keep stirring it, tossing it all over to make sure we get even coating. And I'll show you what it looks like here in a little bit. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to break down a little bit. We're gonna, our pasta I think is done, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a pasta spoon and grab it and don't worry about the water getting in it because we're going to need to add some of that water anyways. Go ahead and turn that one off. And while this was going on, I preheated the oven to 350. Get all this added in here. Alright. We're getting close. We're going to finish cooking the pasta in here. I think we got it all but maybe two pieces and I think I can grab there we go. Oh, there we go. Alright. Alright, let's toss this all together. And again, this is why you need a very, very big saute pan. I've done this in a pot before also. Make sure you taste it to see if we need any seasoning or not. Maybe a little bit more of that seasoning. Let this toss this for a few more minutes and then we can add our basil to it which I just cut into a rough chop and we'll put it in our little pan right here add our mozzarella cheese and stick it in the oven let it get all melty okay now this is all broken down we're gonna go ahead and add our basil and basil is amazing smell fills the entire apartment up. Toss that all in there. Add a little bit of our cheese here in a bit. Just a little bit. We're not going to add all of our cheese to the pasta itself. We're going to put some of it on top. Okay. Add some of our cheese. We can turn off the heat also. Alright, that's good. Toss all this around. You can already see us getting stringy. All right. Okay. Now that this is all done. Okay. We got it all melty. I'm going to go ahead and add this into our baking dish. Be careful. 
I'm going to spill it, which I hopefully won't have to do. And I've actually had this. This is actually the first time I've ever baked this. I usually don't ever bake it. I usually just eat it this way, but figured what can go wrong with a little bit of cheese added inside and on top. Okay, spread it out. Alright, adding our cheese on top. Just a little layer. Make sure you cover everything. Okay, add some of our breadcrumbs. Just a little bit more. Okay, a little bit of olive oil on top. Okay, and stick it in the oven. And we'll take we'll take a look at it. Hopefully it won't be any more than about five to ten minutes. The truth. Take a look at that. That looks amazing. Cannot wait to eat this. The reason I added olive oil to the breadcrumbs is to make sure that they don't get really dry because sometimes breadcrumbs can be way too dry and can just ruin it for you. Grab a big heaping spoonful. See all that cheese? And again, you can eat this before, you don't even have to bake it, but figured this time I just wanted to. All right, grab me a fork. Let's try this, try and get something, a little bit of everything in there. Oh. oh yeah, that's good. My name's Eric, this is Cooking with Curly. Make sure to rate, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time.